in a world where peace once reigned. An insidious infection has turned everything into chaos. The undead now roam freely, consuming everything in their path. You must kill them and clean the world from the infection. Engage in epic battles against relentless hordes. Join alliances and strategize with friends. Build and protect your city from threats and unlock powerful heroes. Age of Origins Greetings everyone. I will show you a couple of methods to reduce the amount of speedups you are consuming whether you are draining troops, whether you are doing construction, or whether you are doing any research. There are a few key heroes that can help you in this regard. These heroes fall under the Director and Strategy categories, and they contribute to your growth. For example, the Hero Marcher boosts your construction speed, which I find much more important than research. Why do I prioritize construction over research? Well, you'll have a lot of construction projects happening at once with multiple buildings needing upgrades. In contrast, research tends to be more limited in scope. While research is important, it doesn't involve as many tasks at the same time compared to construction. You might only be focusing on one or two research projects at any given time, whereas construction impacts every building in your base. That's why I believe construction is one of the most crucial aspects you should focus on and prioritize. Now. Let's dive into how you can actually reduce the time needed for construction or research. There are several heroes with various abilities, some blue, purple and even green heroes. For example, one blue hero increases construction speed and there are two replacements if you can't afford it. This one, which also increases construction speed, is a blue hero. Let me show you the others. For the director part you have the Dr. Grey which is increases basically the reduction speed for real research and you have the mercy for construction, those are the ball purple heroes and then you have the blue version of them the ginger which increases again construction and the hacker for the for research. However there are more you have here the green heroes too and I believe they do the same I mean if, if you can't find the blue heroes or the purple heroes this is a replacement while it does not provide as much but again it's not bad anything is actually useful in this game that's one method. Another method for you is, is the refugees. The refugees itself reduces the amount. Here you can see this it reduces the building time needed. To this you go into the runes and you do the runes daily, it will increase your refugees and the more you are having the more the reductions you will have. Of course keep in mind that you need these buildings to allow more refugees to come into you and to earn them you need to go to runes basically. Collect this one and proceed to runes and find them in the rooms, explore refugees rescue and then send your army in here. Let's, let's take an example. Another way to reduce construction and research time is through your research center. In the development section of your research tree, you can unlock skills like architecture which gives you a 10% reduction in construction time. Similarly, there's research which also offers a 10% reduction. As you progress, these can increase to 20%. At headquarters level 21, you'll unlock an additional 10% bonus, but early on, you should focus on the development part of the research tree. There are other ways to achieve time reductions as well. One is through commander skills. Early on you should invest in the development skills, which offer reductions in both construction and research times. For example, you can start by unlocking reductions for research and construction, and later on you can get an additional 10% research reduction. Don't forget about equipment as well. In the Elite Equipment Facility you can develop special sub-equipment. For instance, welding boots, part of the equipment set, can give you up to a 6% reduction in construction time if you have the Elite version. You can start with Level 2 equipment, which provides a reduction, starting at around 
All of these reductions, whether through research, commander skills, or equipment, add up and help you minimize the number of speedups you need to use, especially early in the game. And of course, don't forget one of the most useful features, NPC Helps. Every single click from the Embassy can reduce construction or research time by 45 to 50 seconds, depending on your technology upgrades in the Alliances section. I highly recommend not using your speedups until your NPC Helps are fully utilized. Another thing that is really important is making sure your heroes and officers are assigned to the correct tasks before starting a major project. For example, if you're upgrading your HQ to level 20, make sure that all heroes and officers are correctly appointed. If you're focusing on construction, assign all your construction-related heroes and officers. For instance, if you accidentally have a research hero assigned instead of a construction one, you'll lose out on significant time reductions. Always double-check their assignments. Let me show you an example. I'll remove the construction hero and replace them with another. Now, when I try to build, I lose several minutes. See how much time I've lost. If I hadn't assigned the proper hero, I could have lost hours. Now, let's reassign the construction heroes, and you'll see I've shaved off about 15 hours from the total time just by doing this simple switch. Once everything is set up, you can request helps from your alliance and let the timer cook while you focus on other things in the game. That's it guys. I hope these tips help you reduce the number of speedups you use. Have a wonderful day.